Hello there lovely people and welcome to a new Chili Rum video and in this video we're gonna talk about how to get the achievement ideas guy this one of course I could have done this in the same run probably as uh, first come first serve but why do in one run what you can do in two runs so let's talk about what you have to do for this achievement first off you can start as a custom nation with the full 800 points, and that's a lot of points, let me tell you. But, here's the catch, no more than free total development and you have to get a monthly income of at least 500 ducats, which is, uh, yeah, quite a bit. So here, this is why I've got it, Cape of Good Hope, collect 1123 ducats every month, financial 1770. Right, so much money you don't even know what to do with it. Well, so this is very interesting because you can take very powerful ideas, but uh, you start out so small and you kind of have to get a lot of development to even get that money, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, you don't need that much development, but you, you need to expand somehow or get some influence somehow. So what are you going to do? It's difficult because there are really only two tactics, right? You can decide to get a free development province uh, that's adjacent to a province with a lot of development that belongs to some other nation and then uh, try to conquer it but that also means that that other nation is way stronger than you so what are you gonna do that's gonna be hard what you can also do is just start somewhere in wasteland like in uh, South America oh I put a random new world in this game actually yeah, really interesting. This is actually Ying Zhu. This is some uh, fantasy stuff, the High American uh, Technology Group or whatever. It's pretty good for a colonial nation anyway. But you can start out somewhere and then try to colonize. But uh, the thing about that is, if you start out in a free development province, you probably don't have that much uh, resources or money, so colonizing is going to be expensive. So... How do you start out? What do you do? Well, in my case, I started out as Roergeveld, a tiny ass province in South Africa. And I did exactly that. I just started colonizing to colonize our ideas. And the first province I took is actually Cape. Cape. Why? Because Cape is a lot of development. Instantly switched my capital. But also, they produce gold. So that's really... What's that? A random flag. Black, dark, dark blue, and cyan, or light blue. Super random. Okay. It's not even my flag, but it's alright. So what do you do? Um, you take this, and I think there's a chance of them producing gold, and if they produce gold, then you're, you're golden. I mean, you're still gonna... You're still gonna take some loans, obviously, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, loans is only a number. You can always pay them back later when you're filthy rich. Right, so just take Cape, Swell and Dom, just get here a little bit. <laughs> right, you just go out there and just fill this in. It's a good thing, actually. You're quite far removed from any possible enemies that, that want to invade you. Although kill was getting quite strong, but we'll have to deal with that. So you go out here, this is actually a bit higher dev. So just took this instead, can always fill it in later. Right, so here we go. Starting to look like something. Meanwhile, check this battle of Madagascar. <laughs> Just killing each other. Kill, I actually got a province here right now. So 1501. So let's see. Oh, I also took the, the Macarines, Reunion, and Mauritius. Why? Because there's no natives. So you won't have to send an army. And it's high dev. And then this you can kind of island hop to get here, which is where I want to go eventually. I'm always attracted to the East Indies. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's just such a great place, such high dev, easy to conquer, they always own lots of money. 
to go a little bit faster. Yeah, I think I'm messing around here actually, or not? Am I going here? Yes. So this is the random new world. I took this. This is Saint Helena, right? So just took these islands, which is part of a colonial nation or whatever, and then this Yingzhu. This is this high American fantasy culture group, which is quite strong. But you can't grip. But they started out with a, a fairly development capital, so that's kind of nice to get. Try to integrate this. Try to get to the full new world, the big island. This is also quite big. I don't know what this is. You know, some sort of battle arena. Anyway, just make sure to get the get the good stuff. Get the good provinces. Just check the dev map, right? Oh, no, 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 no. That's terrible. That's terrible. So that's where we were, right? So you want to expand in that direction as well. I've also got this filled in. So you already want to make little settlements all around the place take this benguela and now what i actually do is i invade madagascar right you want to expand more into africa but kill is still quite strong so you have to be careful even though now it's a bit less with ajaran take the rest of madagascar you can start colonizing this if you want even though it's low dev but and i let go of madagascar and then quickly conquered back didn't lose any cores Meanwhile, I'm also messing around here. I need to be all over the place with the camera this time, right? The East Indies, Australia, try to get everything, you know. Here, try to get another colonial nation because the divide is somewhere along this diagonal line, right? So, you want to set up as much colonial nations as you can in different areas. Claim all the areas for yourself. Even though there's no treaty because I'm Zoroastrian, so... Right, right, right. So now we're getting good. Unfortunately, Castile is here and they can be a pain to deal with. Well, it has advantages and disadvantages, I guess. I mean, if you make a claim, you can just occupy it and you'll get a lot of wars going automatically while Spain is messing around here. Or the troops might be in this little island or in the New World or whatever. And in that sense, it's quite good. Now I've got most of Kilwa. Kilwa actually had an alliance with Yemen. But I couldn't attack Yemen straight away because they were guaranteed by the Ottomans. And I didn't want to have to deal with the headache of the Ottomans. Also start expanding here a little bit. I, th I think I took Ceylon and then... Vagina Girls allied with them. I took a little bit of them. Maldives. Right. Malaysia. Good. Look at that. It's already 1735. Getting in there. Ayutthaya. Right, take this, take as much of India as you can. Right, so this is really good. Now we've got this entire bay. Yeah, this the East Indies is also very good for trade pushing, which is what you mainly want to be doing. This Ming Plosion is great as well, even though it took a lot of uh, manpower to get this. But it's adjacent to Taiwan, so you can make claims. Yeah, you just need to wait and look for an opportunity, I guess. Ayutthaya and Pegu were constantly allied. That's a nice chunk we got right there. Right. Did you get a little bit more here? Wu, meanwhile, also got all of this. Tunisia. Aloja is guaranteed by the Ultimates, so we didn't want to have to deal with the headache. Just wanted this to be an easy game. <laughs> you know, a bit relaxing. <laughs> I play for fun. I have stuff to do, so we got Sint, we took this from Coruscant, which is also allied with the Ottoman, so you need to be a bit careful diplomatically. We've got a lot of death here. Japan is actually quite strong this game, went for colonizer. Took most of Indonesia. This is actually a really nice, complete uh, Southeast Asia, I really like it. It's just that these like Norwegian and British islands, but oh well. And this. East Papua. Right, a bit of Australia, New World. So, that's the timeline. From that point on, oh look at that, I developed Cape so much. All you really have to do is, it's not that hard, you just want to get trade, right? Trade is the easiest way to get uh, a lot of development or a lot of uh, ducats, monthly ducats. So, of course, the best trade node is. Uh, English Chanel, but you're not anywhere close, just like Genoa. So we'll just have to do with Cape.
which works fine apparently because we got 1123 anyway um, yeah the new world is kind of funky uh, especially because it's a random new world fantasy look at this <laughs> look at how these lines go it's stupid Kaixi and Pukanisa I don't know. random it's actually pretty good for um, Australia it looks like because there's a lot of production here you can push it on here goes to Australia obviously I got a lot of Australia so then you can push that through just get as much merchants as you can you get one for every colonial nation you establish you can also take trade ideas and on top of that uh, plutocratic ideas you also get another merchant yeah you'll get there it's not it's not that hard actually so these are the ideas I took it didn't take any trade ideas it was obviously not not very needed in the end um, yeah all you want to do is just make trade lines that are as long as possible right you want to just completely push it through from as far down as you can so ideally you would start as far away as you can like there or somewhere Nippon's quite great um, I have a little bit of influence here but of course Wu still uh, has land here so not that much then Canton 87% really good just 87 I own everything except this province well strange doesn't matter Philippines you push this, this through here you can get lots here you can get lots 76 you push through Malacca really important. This is this is already where your your good shit starts, right? So what's this? Local incoming 149, outgoing 190. It's a little bit going this way 249. Siam is uh, just push push everything to Malacca. Get Bengal, keep pushing through for Ceylon. You want to push as much through from Goa. Didn't really have a lot of influence in Sindh until really, really late game. I think there's nothing going this way. Well, ran out of merchants. Maybe could have done more efficient. This one, this one's really key. Because this is the way you want to go to Cape, right? There's only one other way, and that's from Malacca straight to uh, Zanzibar and then through to Cape. But this, this really determines all of your, uh, all the trade power you get from these nodes, right? From Doab, uh, Bengal. Goa, Ceylon, and Sint as well. The only problem is the Ottomans are usually expanding somewhere around here. I mean, you can fight a costly battle trying to control as much as you can. I control quite a lot actually from this trade note. I think, yeah, just these couple of provinces. What you can also do, I mean, if you're already this big, uh, have this much development, just build a giant trade protection fleet and put a merchant there that should probably do most of the work. 84% pretty good score Zanzibar 100 198 52 and you get 100% Zambezi all these locals local uh, trade notes aren't really that great there's not really that much money in it but it adds up right and then you push through 410 gets here and then look at that trade value note we collect 1123 Duck, it's really great. Yeah, so what you also want to keep doing is once you get a little bit of money, you can just uh, just build a shitload of, of uh, manufactories, but also stock exchanges. I mean, I think I've got a lot of them. Anywhere where it was like remotely, <laughs> remotely viable to get one, I just put one down. So yeah, in the end, it's... Uh, it's really not that hard, just focus on pushing trade through and um, obviously you can start as a custom nation, 800 points, quite a lot of points, check out what you want to do. This worked pretty well for me, but of course I don't think there's any guarantee that you'll get gold uh, in cap. So you might have to take more loans out earlier, but it's it's really not that hard and you can do some funny, funny stuff as well, get a random new world, which I'd never done before. Yeah, pretty good game in the end. So uh, that's it. See you later, guys.